So, um, today Ryan C. filmed a, a tower. Um, this here, th this tower, um, has problems. It has, uh, one big major problem at the top. Uh, so yeah, he, uh, he was talking about it earlier today. He said that it has a beacon malfunction. So I, you know, like, I didn't think it was going to be all too bad. Like, just something just common. But when I seen both videos of it, I was just, I was shocked. I was just like, wow, how could it get this bad? Like, holy crap, man. This, like, look at this. Like, this is even worse than the, the tallest Long Lines Tower, uh, Tower's um, top LED going into a stationary mode because of lightning. Uh, this here, uh, this looks like a, a tower animation. That That's what it looks like. That's what it's kind of like because... Uh, I know of a tower animation Ryan C made a long time ago that that's so similar to this. So uh, uh, take a look at this. So you see that? That is weird. So um. First off, it's shining white and red at the same time. So it's switching from day mode to night mode over and over again. And then um, you can see um, uh, this, um, this, this next part confused me quite a bit because I didn't know if it was a backup night mode or if it's just something else. But um, the, the day mode gets dimmer and um, I didn't know why or what it was, you know. Um, not until like I seen the second video at least and heard about it more like more information about the tower so uh you know um yeah I'm pretty shocked you know not to tell you it's not any backup night mode take a look at, um actually first off um have you did you guys notice um how the bottom set of LEDs are flashing like modern LEDs but um the top LED, it's, it's night mode is a little different. See that? It's kind of, kind of like um, the the original 3000B night mode. So uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. But take a look at the next video. This here is the next video. And uh, Ryan C slowly rises up. Well... The tower kind of rises up, you know. He slowly points his camera up to the top. Showing all the other stuff. Before the chaos. And then we get the top. You see that? So, um... You can see that that was no... That's not uh, any backup night mode. That is the beacon going... That's the day mode going into a stationary mode temporarily until like um the night mode breaks it up and stuff see you know how weird that is like like damn look at that you see that like this is this is a crazy beacon setup this is one of the craziest i've seen in a, in a long time you know and i've seen the uh, crazy beacon malfunctions too um the the first malfunction tower um it went to to day mode and night mode um um, some, some, the, you know, it went through day mode, night mode, and temporarily into a backup night mode, and then went back to normal. I seen, I seen, uh, rewired dual strobe night modes, and, um, and other things, you know. But this here takes the cake, I have to be honest. This here is crazy. I, j I just had to show you guys this, because this is pretty nice, and pretty, you know, it's, it's pretty bad at the same time because uh i'm pretty sure this here is the fgs 370 aka crappy led um <coughs> yeah it's supposed to be one of the it's actually supposed to be one of the best beacons to get on a to buy to replace beacons really because they have they, they usually um i heard they uh, last 10 years at least somewhere around that time and other things so uh yeah um they don't have any they have a good um, wind load thing you know since they're flat and all that stuff so yeah um but this here is just uh this here is just a mess the funny thing is that um 
Ryan C said he's going to send the video clips to um, Flash Technologies channel on Instagram. So I, I can't wait to see what um, Flash Technology would say about this. So yeah, um, here's a picture of it. This is going to end off the video. So uh, yeah, crazy beacon setup and all that crap. It just uh, it, it's just it's uh, it, it, the top um, the, the top LED when it goes into a into a temporary stationary mode it reminds me of the the tallest long lines tower tallest online towers uh, situation you know like um uh, if you go to AJ Jackson's channel which I think is called long line savior nowadays um if you look at his newest video um you will see that the top LED is in a stationary mode while the bottom set of LEDs um, are, I think, are stuck in day mode because both the top and bottom LEDs are very, very bright, and I don't remember them being that bright for day for night mode. Like it's not supposed to be that bright. I remember the night mode being different as well. It has a, uh, it has like the medium flash night mode that you see on uh, FH Radio Twenty Four backup night mode. So yeah, you should you should check that video out.